Welcome to all women that are phenomenal. I'm glad to see you. Glad to. I know it's been a minute since we did a, a talk topic. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that today. Um, the topic is all men are dogs, grubs, hoes, um, black men. Um, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about that. Um, first of all, I must say, all black men are not dogs. Now, you might have had some bad relationships, one or two, and so now that you've had your bad relationship, you want to category every man as a dog. Me, myself, I'm going to say out of my five relationships, yes, one man, I'm not going to call him no, no dog, but he was no good. Okay, but I didn't hold it against every man that came into my life because if I did, I would be would have missed out on the two good men, man, <clears throat> men that did come into my life. So, ladies, what you need to stop doing is saying all men are dogs. Be careful what rolls off of your tongue because you keep on with the negativity, you're going to get what you ask for. Instead of saying all men are dogs, why don't you try saying, well, maybe all men are not dogs. You know, when you're sitting around with your girlfriends talking or at the club and you, a man walk in and you look at him, don't just assume that he's a dog. You know, again, be careful what rolls off your tongue and what is in your head and if it's so much negativity I promise you that is what you are going to bring into your life is a dog now you also need to also search yourself in within and see maybe why you are attracting these dogs you know what are you doing to attract these dogs a dog cannot be with you unless you let them be with you. <clears throat> so you might want to look at yourself and maybe change what you are looking for. Now what I have been seeing is ladies that, uh, you know, they just don't want the, the nerdy type nor the men that go to work all day. You know, they more into the thuggish type. And uh, when you are more into the thuggish type with that thug mentality, do you really think you're going to get that man, the thug, the thug mentality, that's what you want? Do you think the man with the thug mentality is going to open your door for you? No, he might kick you out that door and slam it right behind you. But, again, that's what you want. Also what I came to find out is women when they do get some of them when they do get that good man that open the door for them and want to take them out to eat they so used to the men that do have the thug mentality that 
they scared they intimidated by the good men so stop being intimidated and scared of the man that's gonna treat you right and you know do right by you because you are scared you I to talk to women they said well I don't see why this man want to treat me like a queen you know know your worth and maybe there's something that that man see in you why he want to treat you that way but again I'm still gonna say there's a lot of good men out there still now yes there is a lot of our I'm gonna say good brothers that is in um, lockdown um, I'm gonna say that but there's still some good men out there black men at that and um, so don't label them all out and maybe kind of drop your standards down a little a little bit um, I see women all the time that's talking about well I want this man with this Mercedes but you driving a Pinto that don't add up to me or you don't have a ride that don't add up to me or I want a man with a six pack but you don't work out yourself so you need to reverse that don't you think while you're sitting here wanting this and that and this and that from this man that man want the same thing I would think so do you have something to bring to the table while you are stating, um, I want this perfect black man with uh, the, 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 the cars and the uh, nine to five or two or three jobs when you don't have one. Think about that. That's what I wanted to come to say. Be careful, ladies, what you roll, what rolls off your tongue and what's in your head. You keep on thinking negative, you will bring negativity into your life. So, next time, try, like saying, you know, you are one a good black man in your life, and that might happen. Another thing, if you have a devil in your life, that angel never will appear. So, what I have to say about that, get rid of the devil, and maybe you can gain an angel. This is Miss Rubin, all women that are phenomenal. And I will talk to you ladies in another segment.